The Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 is part of the latest liquid CPU cooler series offered by Be Quiet. The Pure Loop series of liquid CPU coolers is advertised to offer a great cooling performance and more importantly, a low noise output. One interesting feature of this CPU cooler is the fact that the pump itself is not installed on the CPU block. It is installed on the tubes of the cooler, which is one way to get things done. The Pure Loop 240 CPU cooler is available for around 95 to 100 US dollars or euros, which is a fair price for what this cooler aims to offer and it is a lower price on average than the competing all-in-one liquid coolers. We start with the design of this CPU cooler and it is probably one of the best looking coolers around, as it not only has no RGB at all, but can be easily refilled if needed. The CPU block is unfortunately using a plastic made body, which is a far cry from the Dark Rock Pro series of air CPU coolers which were all made out of high quality metal. The top side of the CPU block has a brushed metal texture which looks great, but it is still made out of plastic. Also here you can see the only LED present on this particular CPU cooler, which goes all around the silver plate of the CPU block, and it is exclusively white. The base plate of the cooler is made from nickel plated copper and has a smooth surface with subtle circular marks left from the manufacturing process, which while do not affect the performance of the cooler or even the evenness of the thermal compound spread on the CPU surface, they do offer though a lovely sunburst pattern when the light hits the base plate just right. The fittings that connect to the CPU block are also made out of plastic, but thankfully are angled to 90 degrees and can swivel thus increasing the overall mobility of the tubes during the installation process. Speaking of which, the tubes, these have a length of 400mm and are covered in high quality sleeving. They are also on the thinner side and thanks to that they are also very flexible and easy to move around. And on these tubes is the highlight of this CPU cooler and what makes it stand out from the crowd. And it is this little plastic thing that is mounted on the tubes towards the radiator side. And this is in fact the pump of the cooler. These are called inline pumps and have been a thing for a long time in many industries, however, not many CPU liquid coolers are using them as many people consider these pumps to be an eyesore. In addition, this pump is poured through a single 3 pin connector and has quite a long and thin cable. One thing to note here is that this pump requires constant 12 volts of power, thus the reason why it uses a 3 pin connector instead of a 4 pin one. The radiator used on this particular cooler can accommodate up to two 120mm fans on one side and has a thickness of just 27mm with a length of 277mm and a width of 120mm, so it is a fairly standard sized radiator. One thing though is that this radiator is one of those that has very straight corners, so not the rounded ones, and thus you have to keep that in mind when installing it in tight spaces. However, one great feature that is found on this radiator and not on the others is this. This is a fill port that will allow you to not only fill up the cooler, but also bleed all the air out of the system, which is great. The included fans are 120mm in size and are the Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 model and have a maximum speed of 2000 RPM. These have the model number BQPUW2-120-25HR-PWM. Both these fans use a 4-pin connector for power and are fully compatible with PWM, thus you can control them through your motherboard and software. Before we start with the installation of this CPU cooler, we need to see what is being delivered with it. And we have a user manual, one tube of thermal compound, a fan splitter, a SATA adapter, one bottle of coolant, 8 radiator fan screws, 8 radiator screws, the Intel backplate and the mounting system which is composed out of Philips screws, nuts, mounting brackets, o-rings plus the studs of the backplate. And now we have the installation procedure which is fairly simple. We start with a backplate which in my case is the Intel one. Then you get the four metal studs and insert those in the correct spaces on the backplate itself. Then secure the studs with the help of the included o-rings and finally place the backplate on the back of the motherboard. Then at the front of the motherboard you screw in the required spacers over the studs. 
then install the mounting arms and secure those with the required Phillips screws. Finally, apply the thermal compound on the CPU surface and install the CPU block over the CPU. The block is secured on the mounting arms by tightening the two self-contained screws at the top and bottom of the water block. And you now install the fans on the radiator and the radiator in the case and connect everything for power. And now, before we head into the performance of the cooler, we have a noise sample of the cooler running with the two fans at its maximum rated speeds. To be more specific, the fans will spin at their lowest possible RPM and then increase to the maximum speed available, which is 2000 RPM. I am doing this to showcase the actual sound generated by the fans at maximum RPM, as a decibel reading, while valuable, does not take into account unwanted noises such as bearings, vibrations or other things. Also, if you are wondering why the pump noise sample is missing from this review, that's because the pump that equips the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 makes absolutely no noise whatsoever and it cannot be registered by the microphone itself, so it is very silent. With the fans spinning at their maximum speed of 2000 RPM and with the recording device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler, the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 reached a maximum noise output of 38 decibels, a value that places this cooler next to high end units such as the Noctua NHD 15 or the Alpha Cool Ace Bear 280. The cooling performance testing is done in two stages, first with the CPU and the factory settings and then overclocked manually to 5 GHz on all cores. The CPU used in all testing is the Intel i9-9900K. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark which places a load on the CPU which is similar with what you can expect to see in a modern AAA video game. And in this test, the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 reached a maximum temperature of 57 degrees Celsius with the ambient temperature set at a steady 26 degrees Celsius. However, the next test uses the FPU stability test within the IDA64 Extreme software, which is a benchmark that places an unrealistically high load on the CPU. And while something like this will be hard to encounter in your daily usage, it does help out in differentiating each CPU cooler tested, as it pushes their cooling capacity to the very limit. And in this test, the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 reached a maximum temperature of 82 degrees Celsius, with the same ambient temperature set at 26 degrees Celsius. This temperature places the Pure Loop 240 on the third spot in our charts, next to coolers such as the Fractal Design Celsius Plus S24 Prisma or the Silverstone Permafrost PF240 ARGB. Quite an impressive result for the second series of coolers from Be Quiet. The Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 is a very good CPU cooler. Not only it has a great design which is the complete opposite of what everyone is releasing, but it can also be serviced with ease, thanks to the included coolant bottle and the easy to reach fill and bleed port installed on the radiator itself. The installation of the cooler is very easy, thanks to a refined mounting system which shares a lot of its components with the system used on the Dark Rock Pro series of air CPU coolers. In addition, the usage of plastic is kept to the bare minimum within the mounting system as it has nothing at all. In terms of the cooling performance, this CPU cooler is quite good, trading blows with models such as the Fractal Design Celsius or the Silverstone Permafrost series, just to name a few. However, one area in which the Pure Loop 240 outclasses the competition is the pump noise. With its pump installed on the tubes and not inside the CPU block, this pump makes absolutely no noise whatsoever, and we're talking about no noise at maximum speed as well, which may not sound, no pun intended, like a big deal, but when you have a pump that generates a constant high-pitched noise, it gets to be a problem, and the Pure Loop 240 is the exception of that. The Pure Loop 240 is then a really good choice for those that want a cooler that delivers a good performance and has no pump noise to be heard. Also, this cooler has no RGB LEDs and the cables are kept to a minimum, which is something that many CPU coolers today can't, thanks to the implementation of RGB LEDs and other features. If you like this review, then you can perhaps consider subscribing for more, and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you can find the links for the Patreon and the subscriber star pages of this channel.